when you gon' switch the flow? I thought you never asked. Good morning, YouTube. So today I'm going to be doing a video where I show you a day in the life of me working at Amazon. Um, I noticed that you guys usually do pay attention to videos that I do working at Amazon. So I'm like, all right, I'll make a day in the life. So I'm going to pick the camera back up when I get there and I'm about to clock in and get my scanner and stuff like that. So this is me taking my long ass walk from my car to the front door. Now because of Corona, we can't enter um, through any door that we want. So like this one is the only exit and the one all the way down there is the only enter. Just in case somebody has Corona, they don't get, they, they keep track of it pretty much. To keep everybody coming in at the same place and then everybody leaves at the same place. You can tell who has it and then send them home before. When I go through this door, I'm going to see masks to my left and my right, and I can decide if I want to pick up masks or if I don't. I continue, I go through the turnstiles, and then I have the choice to clock in, and then I walk to the A side to go pick my scanner and my battery. The screen that you see right here tells safety how far apart two people are. So the green ring is telling them that um, the person behind me is not close or that I'm far away from the person that's in front of me. So now I'm going back to the Granger and the Granger is a vending machine to get gloves, a vest, pills if you need it, a clip, anything pretty much. I'm gonna go there, get a new set of gloves for today, and then um, pick my scanner, get a battery, and then continue on with the day. After I get my scanner, my battery, and my gloves, I um, head back to ship dock. Now this day, specifically, um, I wasn't picking. They called me back to ship dock, so I was going to see if they had like somewhere I could be. And if they did, then I'll stay back there. If they didn't, then I'll just simply go back to pick. So what I'm doing right now is called palletizing. It's when the boxes come down on the conveyor and you have to scan the box, scan the container that is open, uh, that's for that exact label, and then you're supposed to pack the boxes that are the same. So you can have a first level that's small. That's the, the base of the whole thing. It's on a pallet, so you're gonna pack the first level of smalls, and then you can do mediums after the smalls, and then you could do larges after the mediums and stuff like that. Although some packages um, might have different sizes, and then you would just pack it any way that you see possible, just so that it doesn't fall over, and you'd continue to wrap it with the foil, not the foil paper, the plastic wrap that's on it that you can see right there. Um, and that's pretty much it. All you do is just build that up to about six feet, but for me, I usually stop at five foot five, because I'm like five two. What you guys saw me building on before was a pallet. This one is called a Gaylord. Once the Gaylord is packed all the way to the top to the point where there's nothing else that can go in, or at least you don't want to put anything else in there, um, you go around and you unhook the, the two bottom hooks that's on the first level. That should be around three feet. And that should really be done um, when the packages reach three feet exact. It shouldn't be done right now when I'm doing it, but for the sake of the video, I decided to just take it off and show you guys all over again. So you would go around, you would unclamp them from the sides, you would lock them in place, and then you would put it back in the place that it's supposed to be. I pushed it out because there's two other Gaylords that was right next to it. Um, by closing it, you let the person know that the, the water spiders, they're the people that move it, you let them know that, hey, this one's finished, and then they'll come pick it up and then put another Gaylord there or put a pallet for you to start palletizing again.
So after I closed this Gaylord, I just got another box and threw it on top because it would fit and the line was packed. This right here is called Flat Sword. Um, I personally wasn't up there all day. All I did was cover somebody's shift. I get flat packages that come down a conveyor, and all I do is single-handedly take each one and place it on the conveyor that's taking them and sorting them to the different bins that they're going to go to. And that's all you really do. Um, this is actually fun to me. But after like 10 minutes or like 30 minutes of taking somebody's shift, it gets really annoying because you're just standing the entire time. Can't really sit, you can't really do anything, but stand there and move packages. My nose was out for the simple fact that I'm far away from everybody. Like the person that's in front of me is way beyond six feet and the person behind me is way beyond six feet. So that's the only reason why my nose was out in the video. So a lot of packages that come down from the flat sort, the video that I was just doing before this, a lot of packages um, can miss CPT, like the time to go out, or the label didn't get read, so everything will come down in jackpot. When everything comes down in jackpot, um, we usually get all the packages and put them back on the line, and that's what I'm doing right now. They're just getting sorted again, and whatever comes back down the jackpot, then we know to fix it. But right here, I was just taking a whole bunch of packages that missed the label. Some didn't miss the label. There was just different things that was wrong with the packages. Um, and I just put them back on the line so they could go through the whole process again. So from all the packages that I just put back on the line, a lot of them came back to jackpot. So what I did was I went through the whole bin that we had of packages and I picked out the packages with the same label. Um, and after I picked out the ones with the same shipping label, I just brought them to the box that they belong to and then I scanned all of them in. So that's it for the whole video. Uh, I didn't get a chance to close out the video yesterday because they moved me to pick. So I was only able to do half a work day showing you guys what I do at ShipDoc. If you guys would like a video on me showing what I do, what I'm picking, like the whole process from when I get there, um, then I could definitely make a video for you guys and show you what I do. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Help me get to 1K subscribers. Uh, be sure to like and comment down below. And see you guys at the next video.